Hello and welcome to the unit two, lesson one, solving one step and two step equations. Um, this is a, a review of seventh grade standards, solving one step and two steps. You do that by doing this thing called inverse operations and there's two different inverse operations. We end up having uh, on two step equations, we have a variable term and a constant on one side of the equation. And so we have to get rid of the constant and we do that by you applying the additive inverse, which the result of the additive inverse, a plus negative a, or negative a plus a, the result's zero. So let's take this example here. Let's say I had $4 and then I added a minus $4. I end up with no money at all. Or the other way, let's say I owed my friend $4 and I paid him $4, then I would have zero as a result. So that's really important to understand that the additive inverse results in zero. Zero. The additive inverse results in zero. Then you have a situation where you will have a number in front of the variable. In that variable term, the number in front of the variable is called the coefficient. So you're going to be um, multiplying by what we call the reciprocal. When that coefficient is a fraction, uh, the reciprocal is just the coefficient flipped over. So we, we take our coefficient and we flip it over. Let's take a look at what these things look like in a one-step equation. So we have a problem here where it says negative 15 equals 1x minus 27. Okay, my goal is to isolate the x. So at first I need to find the variable term. So I have all these rules of what I need to do. First thing I always have to do is find the variable term. I can see that x is my variable term. I put a little vt above it, and I notice that it's on the right side of the equation, okay? And over here is minus 27. We call that a constant. So I put a little c right here, and on the left side, I have a constant. So I'm going to apply the, what I call the additive inverse. When I add the opposite, I get 0, which is what I want. Here I'm trying to get x all by itself. So underneath the minus 27, I put plus 27. And my result is zero. Now, it's messy if I have a bunch of plus zeros in here, so I just do the slash. Just slash out the numbers that eliminate or become zero. And then I align it on the left side, right underneath the constant, since I added 27 to the right. I have to add 27 to the left. And that's why I've drawn this vertical line here. We call it a, a wall or a barrier. This wall, the equal sign, is always on it. And we work left and right of it. And whatever you do to the right side, you do to the left side. Whatever you do to the left side, you do to the right side, like a golden rule. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. Whatever you do to the left side, do to the right side. And I actually have my answer here. I have my one X, which is what I was looking for, equals 12. Now we talked about multiplicative inverse. And we have a special situation sometimes where we have uh, that the, the coefficient of this variable term, let's write vt here, we have a variable term and we have a constant. So we don't have a constant on the left, we have a variable term. And in front of this variable term is negative 3. Okay, if, you're, if your coefficient here, negative 3, if it's an integer, which means it's a negative whole number, then you could just divide both sides because we want to do the opposite of multiplying, which is dividing. So you end up dividing by negative 3. We draw a division bar. Notice that the division bar 
is different than the addition bar. The addition bar is a is a straight line that goes all the way from the left to the right. And see how both numbers are above the addition bar? That's not the case in the division bar. The division bar is only under the number and then negative three. Here's the 42 on the right, the division bar and negative three. So it's between the numbers and it does not go all the way through. Whereas the addition line, it's under the numbers and all the way left to right. Now we have the next situation here. We have the coefficient is a fraction. So here we have negative two thirds. It's multiplying times the W. This is the coefficient, the negative two thirds. W is the variable. So we have a coefficient. And we have W, which is the variable. And together they make up the variable term. And this is a constant. This is your variable term made up of two parts, the coefficient in front multiplying and the variable make up a variable term. So here we have our negative two thirds W. So we're going to apply the multiplicative inverse. And the reason we're going to do that is we want to get one W. And the only way you get one W is if you multiply by the multiplicative inverse. So we take the number, we're gonna, we're gonna flip this number over. So here's negative two thirds. We're gonna multiply. We're gonna take our fingers of negative two thirds and we're just gonna flip that number over. So we take the number here, the coefficient, we're gonna flip it over. That, be, that means that's the reciprocal. Negative 3 over 2 is the reciprocal. So we're multiplying. And what do you end up with here? When you multiply negative 3 over 2 times negative 2 over 3, W equals 24 times negative 3 over 2, you can see that you get two negatives. That's why you keep the sign the same. You want to keep the sign the same because you want positive W, 1 W, Two negatives is positive 6 over 6 W. Well, we don't want to write that as 6 over 6 W. We want 1 W or just W. Here we could cross cancel or you can just multiply across. So negative 24, I mean positive 24 times negative 3 is 72. Negative 72 over 2. Numerator to numerator. There's a 1 in the denominator, so the 2 remains 1 times 2 is 2. Negative 36. Negative 36. Some of this, you know once you're multiplying by the reciprocal, you're going to end up with 1w or w. And then you could do this math, hopefully, in your head. So you have w equals negative 36. That's one-step equations. Almost all the time you end up with two-step equations, so you have these notes with you. You're going to go ahead and flip the notes to page two. Let's write page two up here. Page three, we'll look at these at another time. Page four. Page five. Page six. Now, in your textbook, you're to bring volume one. So, you want to bring volume one for the next foreseeable future. You could leave volume two at home. Now, we've already done an example here. We already went through our checklist so what do we do first first you always have for two-step equations you have to find the variable term and there it is it's on the left side you have to do that because your next step is the additive inverse 
and you do that to the constant on the side of the variable term. So that's why you're subtracting two to both sides. The addition line, the vertical line, the equal sign. We travel down the page. 3x equals 14 minus 2 is 12. So again, we subtract 2. We had the 3x equals 12. We divided by 3 because the coefficient is an integer. So that's why we divide. And then you can check by taking your solution and you're going to plug it into the original equation. So that's what we do here. We substitute to check. Okay, so we've done one of these problems already. Problem one, A equals A over 3 plus 6. Now, this looks a little different because we have found our variable term, what we wanted to do first. And here we have our A over 3. Well, what is that essentially? That's 1A. It's not 0A. So I can write this as 1 third because this A is in the numerator. So I can write it as 1 third times A. So you're going to need to rewrite these as... Uh, with a fraction coefficient. That's the one-third. So we find the variable term. Here's our variable term. We've rewritten it as one-third A. Now we have two steps. We've got to do the additive inverse on this side. We subtract six from both sides. Slash. We end up with two equals one-third A. And then we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. three over one, two times three is six, one A. So we're gonna turn one more page to page, this is page seven. And we're gonna do these got it problems here together. What do you do first, second, and third? Let's write that down. What I do first, this is the second to last page, page eight. Okay, page eight. In your notes. Negative one equals one half A plus nine. Okay, so what do we do first? Find the variable term. We're going to call it VT. All right, we'll label it above it. Variable term is here, made up of a coefficient and a variable, variable term, constant and constant. So if you take a look at it on our second step, we're going to do the additive inverse. So that it was important to find the variable term first, which is here, the variable term. And then I do the additive inverse. I'm getting rid of the constant. I'm eliminating the constant. See, there's a C for the constant on the side of the variable term. Subtract 9, subtract 9. This is an addition line here. Vertical line for the wall. Make sure you do the add line all the way across with this here. You have 9 minus 9 is 0. So we're not going to write 0. We're going to slash. We're going to bring down. We're going to keep the equal sign on the wall. We're going to bring down the 1 half A like this. Negative 1 minus 9. Now let me think about this before I give a wrong answer. If I owe somebody a dollar and I then owe nine more dollars, I owe a total of ten dollars. Okay, now I'm at the next step. I'm just going to rewrite it really quick. And I do third, I do multiplicative inverse. So I'm multiplying by the reciprocal. I do this whenever my coefficient, reciprocal, 
I do this anytime my coefficient is a fraction. I multiply it and take it. I'm going to flip it over 2 over 1. And I do it to both sides. Negative 20 equals A. Okay. So if you look at this one, it looks like it's a one-step problem. This is no, this is a two-step problem. You want to make sure you identify your variable term, your constants, and then follow your first, second, and third. Okay? In this second problem you're going to solve, notice that your coefficient is a is a integer. So you can divide, sorry, can divide. But here, 10 minus 2 thirds P minus equals 52. That's a fraction coefficient. You have to multiply by reciprocals. Multiply by the reciprocal on this problem. And then here, just like the previous problem that we looked at, N over negative 3, remember previously, we rewrote it as a uh, fraction. So you want to do that. Put a 1 there. Move it out in front. Okay. You're going to get, provide the answer to this problem here in the Ed Puzzle. You're going to work this problem out. You need to work it out in your notes here and this problem. So this problem, this problem, and this problem. You're going to take an image of these. You're going to take an image of this page and you're going to be uploading it as an additional and you're going to upload it when you turn in upload and turn it in to Google Classroom. You'll see the assignment. It'll be um, posted for you to upload your work that you did. I want to see these steps. I need to see a wall. I need to see an addition line. I need to see the multiplication or the division in this case, but the multiplication. It's, this problem solving should look just like this one. And this one should look just like this one.